Hey, what's up guys? This is Joey Thomas, entrepreneur and small business educator here with 17 Hats. You know, with the holidays coming up, I'm sure you're racking your brain on how to maximize your opportunities to make some extra money and gain that all important momentum going into the next year. So today we're going to dive into how to make the most of your Black Friday sales and how you can make sure your efforts will actually pay off. So you know that millions of shoppers are ready to take advantage of deals. And we see it, we see it year after year. As a matter of fact, last, last year's Cyber Monday was the biggest Cyber Monday or sales single sales day of all time here in the US. So people are primed and ready to spend money. But how are you going to stand out? Or how do you even know where to begin? And that's where I wanna help you today. So hang with us here for a few minutes and click subscribe to the 17 hats channel or like this video if content like this is something that you really really enjoy okay so today we're going to get into 10 tips to rock your black friday sales so let's get right into this number one i want you to know that email is still king guys because you know what we have to market we have to get out there and we have to market and not all of us want to put money into Facebook ads or Instagram ads and things like that. There's definitely a huge space for that. But recently with some of the changes that's happened with tracking and all that, it's becoming a little bit more difficult. One thing is consistent is that email is still one of the largest sources for deals to originate from. As a matter of fact, almost 25% of Black Friday deals originated from email marketing. So knowing that is one thing, but how do you get people to actually open it, right? It's simple. And I think the simplest thing that we should look at is the subject line. Use an attention grabbing subject line. It has to be unique. It has to be catchy enough that people will open it. You know, something like for your current clients, because who doesn't like something exclusive, right? So get an exclusive sneak peek at our Black Friday sales. The word exclusive definitely stands out. Or can you keep a secret? VIP access to Cyber Week sales. Who doesn't like VIP access, right? Or something like this, free shipping, check. Up to 50% off, all yours. Black Friday in 24 hours. These are all samples of catchy, attention-grabbing subject lines. So make sure, work on that a little bit, do a little research, and make sure that subject line is very good. And you know, even having things like emojis in your subject line is helpful. You just don't wanna overdo it, or it can look a little tacky, right? Okay, next, you wanna use a different approach for each target market. Your past clients, are not the same as your potential clients. They don't respond the same way. For example, you can give your past clients something like VIP or exclusive access or early bird access. You can even give them additional access after the sale is over. They will feel great about having that and no one else will. Whereas potential clients, you wanna use some more of the traditional methods like one day only or get free shipping, which we're gonna talk about later. So you wanna make sure that if you have email targeted lists, that these are approached a little differently and you can compare how they're actually working um, with each other. Now, timing, 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 timing is key. You definitely don't wanna inundate and spam your audience. That is the fastest way to get unsubscribed and really annoy them because they're getting hundreds of emails, hundreds, right? See my eyes popping out of my head because I get hundreds of emails. So instead try this. This is a little formula and you can tweak this whichever way you see fit. But start about a month early and you can do one weekly email a month ahead. And then maybe just an email, a single email 48 hours in advance and an email on the morning of. Some people, even a month ahead, will have a little sign up. If you want exclusive access early to our Black Friday deals, enter your email here. And you can create a unique list just to the people that you sent that email to a month early. 
right? So, and like I said before, follow up with an extended sale with your current clients. Uh, people love the members only and VIP stuff. So timing is key. All right, landing pages. So let's touch on landing pages. Now, you know, people start looking for deals pretty early. They want to know what's coming up because they'd like to plan. And they're not always just shopping for Christmas or the holidays. A lot of times they're looking for things for themselves as well. I know I keep a little uh, note of all the deals that I see and things that interest me. And I actually save it to a little notes in my phone. So I have access to it year round. And I'll even subscribe to some of the texts and things just to see what kind of specials that's going to come up, even if I don't pull the trigger immediately, right? So people do start looking for those deals. And if you could create a landing page that actually lives online for quite some time, you can develop a little bit of SEO and kind of get rooted online a little bit and help your exposure. It's a very effective tool to get prospects to take an action because with landing pages, it focuses them on only what you want them to see and it doesn't necessarily make it confusing or more difficult to get around, right? I mean, because you could easily divert their attention and you don't want to do that. But you want to make sure that those landing pages look great on all devices and they're working properly. Make sure they scale. Make sure they're looking easy. They don't get crowded. You can even add a giveaway on this landing page so that you can collect emails. And with a simple lead capture form, I use 17 hats lead capture form on my landing pages just to capture some data. And it's very, very easy and it'll be organized for you. Then you can export those emails into an email marketing program. Another little tip on landing pages is a countdown timer. If, if you send something out a month ahead and then a week ahead and, and a couple of days ahead with a countdown timer, there's some excitement to that. So you can add one of those timers to this landing page. And a lot of times these landing pages can be linked in your email, right? It creates a sense of urgency. And that is a very effective tool for Black Friday. Okay. You want to leverage social media. Now we know this, right? We hear this all the time. We know that social media is important, but which platform do you use? Well, I'm going to keep it simple. Where do you get the most traction in social media? Is it Instagram? Is it TikTok? Is it Facebook? Where is it? And where is your target audience living? Which platform do they use the most? I want you to use that outlet to start talking about Black Friday deals. You can even go live or make sure you put a post, but you don't want it to, again, spam your audience. But a good mention here and there will really be helpful because they're already there. They're already using the platform. So it's a great space to announce what's coming. But if you use social media, don't ignore the comments and make sure you message back if somebody sends you a DM, right? And also, it's good to use a call to action, like click in the link in the bio to access the deals early or something like that, right? And in the end, just make sure you research a little bit on the best times to post in your area or to the, your target audience. That's always helpful. All right. Next, show undeniable value. I'm just trying to say, just be clear. Be clear on the value that you are giving your clients, right? So adding a service or product that would otherwise be a la carte to a deal or a bundle will help you clarify its value. For example, if product A is 10 bucks and product B is 10 bucks, but hey, you're selling these together for 15, it's easy to see that value, right? Because it might be a product you never, ever, ever discount. You know, you can also even give away free shipping if you're selling a product or if you're doing a service, no service call, no travel charges free consultations. There's a lot of different things that, that people would want to take advantage of knowing it's a clear cut, valuable option. 
Okay. In a service, you can even add extra hours to the service, you know, and, and they'll know because they have seen your a la carte numbers. But whatever it is that you do, just be very clear on the value that you are providing. Next, you have to choose the right products. You don't want to discount everything. If you discount everything, it, it, it kind of loses its oomph. It loses that magic, right? You want to choose the right products to promote. So there is a method called the high runner strategy. And what that is, it's just doing specials on services or products that are already your most popular services or products. You already know that people are highly interested and come to you for these. Now, the great thing about it is they're already familiar with the price point. For example, if it costs a hundred bucks per hour to do something and they know that, and you do a promotion on that deal, people want to take advantage of it. And that's called the high runner strategy. And the reason you do that is to get people in the door in hopes that they will stick around and maybe do some add-ons or take advantage of a bigger deal or more deals on your site. So use choosing the right products is very, very important no matter what kind of sale you're deciding to do. All right, you want to make your offer enticing. So let's say you, you found the right product, right? You found the right product or you found the right service that you want to give away as a deal or in a deal, right? But you have to make it enticing. Research shows that for sales um, and for things like Black Friday that you have to give at least a minimum of 20% to really be moved to purchase. But you can be a little bit more creative with it if you wanted to. For example, you can give a higher discount for first time buyers or the discounts get better by the hour. If you add more hours or by the volume, if you purchase more items, the discount gets better. Pretty simple. Maybe add a free gift with a deadline. Heck, you can even change the deal every single hour and have them come back over and over again. So whatever it is you do, you make it enticing, you make it interesting, and you make it very, very clear that, hey, there is a deal to be had, okay? You definitely want to try to use some video content or even some live content. See, video accounts, video content accounts uh, for nearly 65% of impressions on Instagram. So people love video. They love watching video. It's more interactive. You see personality a little bit better, right? And they love live events. They love it when you go on live and you can even go on live on Facebook or Instagram to even do giveaways on the day of your special. So use that video content, use live events and really take advantage of that extra engagement and that human connection that you get with that. All right, so whatever it is that you decide to do, just keep in mind that potential customers are ready to spend money. They are. There's going to be billions of dollars spent around the world for events such as this, right? There's specials, you know, nearly every weekend, every month all around the world. But for us here, we have Black Friday and Cyber Monday. So I want you to just approach it. Approach it with authenticity and offer great value and you're gonna stand out, right? Just don't spam them. Don't raise prices before the event. We don't wanna be all sleazy with the sales, right? Always, always, always have great customer service and be prepared with a great policy and process for returns and exchanges if you're selling products because you know you're gonna have some of those you know, after Black Friday or that weekend, right? Even with services, be prepared to book quite a bit and for your calendar to be full and have a process in place where the booking is seamless. And I would use something like 17 Hat Scheduling Platform to make it seamless, right? So you may even consider creating a gift guide of sorts to go with your special, something that you can send people a month ahead in their email. And in these gift guides, you can say, hey, gifts for him, gifts for her, gifts for kids, you know, and just do like, 
hey, I'll just throw back to, I remember seeing a Mother's Day special. Treat your mom to a day at the spa, right? And there would be a special. So it's like a guide helping us think through why we would need that product or service. So in the end, guys, I am wishing you the best of luck on your Black Friday sales. <clears throat> I hope these last 10 tips were really helpful and gets those wheels turning. Once again, I'm Joey with 17 Hats. Make sure you subscribe to this channel, click like, and turn on those notifications because we're going to have content like this coming at you every single week. You guys have a great day, and thank you for hanging out with me on this video.